Hi guys, my name is Asika Buru Praise. You're welcome to this channel, the Legit Cast TV, where we offer you 100% infotainment. Alright guys, our update now is about a girl called Shema who lost her job out of impatience. Alright guys, before we go to the news and details, if this is your first time visiting this channel, please kindly scroll down to the rest subscribe button, click it, and also click on the bell so you will get notified whenever we publish metro stories on this channel. If you're already a subscriber to this channel, thank you and God bless you. The news in details. Twitter is currently on fire with the news of a job seeker named Choma who was contacted via her WhatsApp by a company she applied for a job with. According to the screenshots which has gone viral, Choma repeatedly asked the man who contacted her how he got her number before threatening to block him. The man eventually revealed that he was contacting her from Alpha Consulting where she had applied for a job earlier. Nigerians in their reaction have expressed it and some are saying it is unprofessional of the company to get across to her through her WhatsApp when could have mailed her and others are also saying that she was too unruly with her behavior. Guys, whose sides are you on? Now, let's look at some tweets. To me, Chema was right. How did Bessie get her number and saved it? Why will you send it as WhatsApp message and Chema save to the hot? And she, okay, he said, and Shama serve body to the heart. Every guy doesn't mean harm. Some girls like Shama don't tolerate strangers on WhatsApp. It is very unprofessional for a company to use WhatsApp to contact an applicant. What happened to Mailbox? This has a point. In as much as the world wants to judge Shama, it is important to start this kind of chat with Hi, I'm from Alpha Consulting about so 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 interview. Am I in chat with Shama? You can as well call, send email, or text message. More professional. No one should blame Choma. The world is a dangerous place, and anyone can pretend to be anyone. And the social media is a stupid place where anyone can come and form rubbish. If I were Choma, I would behave in the same way. All right, guys, whose sides are you on? Are you on Choma's side or are you on the company? Because some Nigerians are having mixed feelings about this. Some are saying it, she was too unruly with her behavior. And why some are saying the company was not professional enough to have to, they would have mailed her or send a text mail or rather place a call so guys i need your opinion on this please drop your comment in the comment section don't forget to like the video don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to share stay tuned